Hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. I had been doing some mechanicing and I had poured some gas in a can so I could wash my own nasty hands. And I just left the can sitting there in the yard and I didn't think anything about it. And it's hot down here in Mississippi so I had gone over and sat in the shade, had a fan blowing on me trying to cool off just a little bit and I noticed this old stray cat he come, come eating up on that can with that gas in it. And I said, surely not. And lo and behold, if he didn't put his head over in there and lapped up some of that gas, he drank him a little swig of it. I thought, oh my goodness, I hope it don't hurt him. And about that time, he reared back on his hind end. And that joker jumped up about five foot straight up in the air, cut a backflip. When he hit the ground, he was a peeling out, man. He was kicking up dust, and he took off across the yard. Yow! He was making, <laughs> I don't know how fast he was going, but that joker was moving on. And he hit up an oak tree there, and he went up seven or eight feet off that oak tree, and he just done a complete backflip. And flipped two or three times and rolled over and hit the ground, and he was just tearing out 90 to nothing. And he made a big swoop around the yard, and he was going so fast that he was trying to make that turn. His side was almost dragging the ground. He was running so fast. That joker hit the side of the barn, run all the way up the side, hit the roof, and he jumped off, hit the ground, and he was a tearing out, and all of a sudden he just fell over on the side. I thought, my goodness, he must have run out of gas. <laughs> I feel just about like that cat in this hot weather we have. And I walk out the door and that heat hits me and that's just like that cat. I'm out of gas right then. I don't want to do a thing. It's plum miserable. And I know people argue back in different parts of the world. Our 112 is hotter than your 97 and vice versa. We got a dry heater and I don't care what the temperature is, it's hot. Where I'm at, it's hot where a lot of y'all are at too. <laughs> Lincoln's been looking for something in the mail and it come in the other day. I run him up there to the post office to pick it up and nothing to do but go try it out that evening. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make some exceptions even though it's <laughs> terrible hot. We just got back from the post office with guess what? I'm about to get it. <sighs> Ta-da! This is so cool, and I haven't even seen it. Oh, oh my good googly mooglies. Good thing it's July 4th. It says Mike's Medley on it. And it's got old school fishing team. I think he's a little bit excited, Rich. Thank you very much. <laughs> and this thing is gorgeous. <laughs> One of a kind right there. Look at there, it's even got my name on it. Thank you so much, Mr. Rich, I love it. Papa don't know, but he's taking me to the pond. What you doing, bud? You gonna try out that new rod and reel? Yes, sir. Me and Josh and Lincoln went to the pond so Lincoln could catch a fish on his new pole. A golly whopping brim. <laughs> Look at the crankbait brim here. Yeah, I've been smelling brim a lot lately. 
A brim on a crankbait. <laughs> nice catch, Papa. <laughs> Got him. Got him. That's number two. Papa wasn't filming on number one. I was too filming, Josh. I just forgot to hit the on button. <laughs> Which means he wasn't filming. <laughs> Got him. Well, Papa hooked up right here at the boat. Nice little bass on the old crankbait. They can tell that that's a big old brim. Oh, that's a, a crappie. A nice crappie. Crappie ate, swallowed a baby crappie. A nice crappie on a nice rod. That crappie I caught earlier was just one of many to come on this ride. It's a real interesting story about the man that made this fishing pole for Lincoln. He served in the military and he had got out. And then 911 happened. He re-enlisted and went and served this country again. It's people like him is what made this country great. And this year on the 4th of July, our Independence Day holiday, you take a few minutes out of your barbecue and, and your grilling and your partying and you're having a good time. And thank all the veterans. Folks, stuff just don't happen by accident. There was a lot of people sacrificed a whole lot. Some even gave the ultimate sacrifice so we could have the freedoms we enjoy today. It's hot out there, but you think it's hot outside. The Bible talks about a place that's a whole lot hotter. But we did accomplish the goal. We made a quick trip to the pond this evening, and Lincoln got to take his new custom-made rod, and he did manage to get a couple of fish on it, and that's just going to be one of many more. And always remember, folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.